Hey, Crunchy, where are you going? You want a belly bone yet? Get back to sleep. Uh, I want to get there before everybody. Ever since I got the polio, it takes me extra time to warm up my leg. Are you kidding? That bone pin of yours is a gold mine. You know how many newsies fake a limp for sympathy? That's why they call you Crunchy, because they wish they had one too. Well, yeah, pretend is one thing, but it's not against the idea I can't make it on my own for real. They lock me up in the refuge for good. Don't you worry about nothing. I got your back. Now, what do you think of my latest creation? Whoa, well, Jack, you're a regular Nicolangelo da Vinci. But how come you're always drawing pictures of mountains and stuff? Them streets down there, they sucked the life right out of my old man. Well, they ain't doing that to me. You keep your small life in a big city. You give me a big life, a small town way out west. Where a fella can breathe. They say folks is dying to get here. Me, I'm dying to get away to this little town out west. Spanking new. And while I ain't never been there, I can see it's clear as day.
still were maybe backed up during the night. Oh, could it be? The Delancey Brothers! <laughs> so, it's on its work. Beating on defenseless workers? Gotta take care of your own, am I right? I heard your old man was one of them strikers. He was. Till we took care of him. That's 
more exciting. That is epic. It's boring. Folks just want to know, is the trolley coming or ain't it? They photo the Do you know what big photos cost? But without flashy photos of the headlines, how are we supposed to sell on papers? We don't sell papers. The Newsies sell papers. That's ridiculous. We don't sell papers. Newsies sell papers. What if we raise the price to 60 cents per hundred? The music would have to sell 125 papers to earn the same price. Exactly. And my circulation would grow. What if we give them an incentive to sell more papers, like, like bonus? <laughs> this is a business, not a charity. Those children need to learn the value of hard work, just like I did when I was their age. I started out with nothing, and look at me now. You're a king maker, an inspiration, a role model for the young and just the two. This is a real life lesson in economics. In a week's time, those boys will be working twice as hard, and they'll be twice as proud as themselves. They'll thank me one day. Yeah, someday. The price for the newsies goes up in the morning. Hurrah! called The Refuge. The more kids the, he brings in, the more money the city pays him. Yeah, but the problem is, all the money goes into Snyder's own pocket. You two do yourself a favor and steer clear of Snyder and his refuge. Mr. Snyder, we couldn't come to New York, so I'm just to go see. 
Thanks, Pat. Hey, Miss Meta. Jack, Kelly, get yourself over here and give me a hug. Davey, let's may I introduce you to Miss Meta Larkin, the finest star in the Bowery today. Hey, she also owns the joint. A pleasure. Nice to meet you, kids. And these amazing young ladies here are the Bowery Brigade, hardest working artists in the city. Say hello, girls. Hello. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Davey. Dave. <coughs> David. that he was running for office. He wanted to show that he cared for orphans and such. So, while he got his mug in the paper, I got my butt in the back seat, and off we rode together. You really know Governor Roosevelt? He don't, but I do. Teddy's a regular patron of arts. Been a big fan of mine for years. Oh, and by the way, Jack, can you pay me a few more of those backdrops? Things have been going so well, I think I can actually pay you soon. No, Miss Meta, I can never take your money. You pictured that? Really good. Your friends bought the artist. Calm down, it's a bunch of trees. The boy's got a natural aptitude. Jeez, I didn't even know it was an aptitude. Miss Meta, Miss Meta, you're off. Kids, stay as young as you like. Here with Meta now. Ready, ladies? Break a leg, Miss Meta! Why did they tell her to break the leg? Don't they like her? It means good luck in needling. Hey, you guys watch from back here. I'm gonna go out front.
put up that headline. Here it comes now. No movies price. 60 cents per hundred. Wait, what you say? And Jack put the price of paint. 10 cents more a hundred. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
launched our strike in the most auspicious manner. Okay. Don't know what that means, but we just get the potato out of here. Did you see the Delanceys? They didn't know which way was up. <laughs> so, what's next? Now we gotta spread the word. Let the rest of the city's newsies know about our strike. Strength in numbers. All right, you and the men, let's spread the word. I'll take them. I got the jump. I got the Bronx. And I got the Bowery. Specs, you take the east side and Tommy Boy. Now, who wants Brooklyn? <laughs> Come on, Brooklyn. Spot condoms today. Albert, you telling me you scared of Brooklyn? Uh, uh, I ain't scared of no, sir. But that spot condoms got me a little Me and Davey will take Brooklyn. Why is everyone so scared of Brooklyn? What are you doing here? Asking a question. Have you got an answer? Uh, because Spot Conlin is the toughest newsie in town. And because Brooklyn is the sixth largest city in the world, you got Brooklyn. You hit the mother. Wouldn't a strike be more effective if someone in charge knew about it? Hey, you got a name? Catherine. Plumber, it's my byline, the name I publish under. She's a dame reporter for the New York Sun. Shouldn't you be at the flower show or the ballet or something? Look. I know a great story when I see one. A couple of ragtag Davids take on the local Goliath. You ain't never said that. You didn't have to, I did. You mean we could really be in the base? If your protest shuts down a paper like the world you're going to make up, make it to that front page. All right. You help us, we help you. <clears throat> Deal. <laughs> yeah! Right. Here's the story. Pulitzer and Heist gotta respect the rights of the working kids in this city. They can't just change the rules when they feel like it. Yeah, we do the work so we get a say. We've got a union. Yeah. All right, to get your story, you gotta be at the circulation wagon tomorrow morning and make sure your friend brings that camera. You're gonna wanna snap a picture of this. You count on me. Come on, Les. I better take you back home. David, where do you wanna say to mom and pop when you can stop money? I guess some things are worth going hungry for. Jack, I'll meet you back here tomorrow morning before we head to Brooklyn. You bet. <coughs> So, Mr. Kelly, what's your story? Working your way through art school, that drawing you to the theater showed real talent. Art school? No, I'm just a newsie. You're not just a newsie, you're a, a leader. What are your hopes for tomorrow's strike? Today, we stopped our newsies from carrying out to the city, but the trolleys still deliver. <coughs> tomorrow, we stop the trolleys. Are you scared? Good question. Do I look scared? But ask me again in the morning. Good answer. Good night, Mr. Kelly. Hey, Plumma, write it good. We both got a lot riding on you. Ten angry editors. A girl? What's a girl? How the heck is that a 
of an eagle. Just go with Edgar. Not only that, there's a story behind the story. Thousands of children exploring the invisible. Speak up, take a stand, and there's song when you're right about it. That's how they I know 
somebody pushes up to this. Probably paid a little extra money too, yeah? Well, it ain't right. Pulitzer thinks we are gutter rats with no respect for nothing, including each other. Is that who we are? No. Well, yeah, if we stab each other in the backs, then yeah, that's who we are. But if we stick together, we could change the whole game. And it ain't just about us. All across this city, there are boys and girls who ought to be out playing or going to school. Instead, they are slain and support themselves and then the folks. Ain't no crime to being poor. No, none of us complains that the work we do is hard. All we ask is for a square deal. For the sake of every kid in this city, throw down your papers and join the strike.
I'm okay. Guess I wasn't much help yesterday. Snyder soaked me real good with my crutch. Oh yeah, Jack. This is Crutchy, by the way. These here guards, they is rude. They say junkin, you junk but you're screwed. But the food ain't so badly so far. Cause so far, they ain't brought us no food. Ha ha. Anyway, so guess what? There's this secret escape plan I got. Tie the sheet to the bed, toss the egg out the window. Climb down, take off like a shot. Maybe though, not tonight. I ain't slept, my life still ain't right. Yeah, but Polter, he's going down. And yet Jack, I was thinking he might just
something I'll owe you for the first backdrop. Plus the two new ones and a little something extra. Just because I'm going to miss you so. Thank you, Meta. You're a gem. But just remember, Jack, when you go somewhere and it turns out not to be the right place, you can always go somewhere else, but if you're running away from something, nowhere's ever the right place. I just gotta get out of this city. It's killing me. Maybe you should read this letter first. Spec shock it off while you're paying. Hey, Miss Meta. Well, hello there. You knew this was making headlines, aren't ya? Yeah, well, that's why we've come. You haven't seen Jack, have you? He's been paying all night. How can I help you? We'd like to host a rally tonight for the Newsies, but we need a safe place to do it and... And you want to use my theater? Please? Hey kid, that's good. You should get into acting. Just so happens, we're dark tonight, so the theater's all yours. Wow, thanks. Happy to help the cause. Sandy, did you find Jack? Is he here? He'll be right out, Miss Palmer. Oh, by the way, thanks for the swell review. Really help business. Just doing my job. <laughs> Jack, there you are. And that's my cue to exit. See Rebels back here tonight at six. Vivil our business, don't. How about letting a pal know you're alive? Where'd you go? We couldn't find you. Never thought I didn't want to be found. Did you see the paint? We're front page news. Above the fold. Good for you. What's with that attitude? Catherine wrote a great story. Thanks, Davey. Everyone wants to meet the famous Jack Kelly. Even spot Colin Syndicate is staying next to Bacon Counter in Brooklyn. How about that? We got stomped into the ground. But with press like this, our fight is far from over. Jack, you have to come to the rally tonight. The Newsies need you. They look up to you. You're their leader. Hey, Jack, where's that supposed to be? It's Santa Fe. It's beautiful. That Once I get me enough money, I'm moving there. Hey. It's good to have a plan. It's not a plan. It's just a dream like you and your hopeless strike. But it's not just a dream. Not after tonight's rally. A citywide meeting where every new gets a say and a vote. And we do it after working hours, so nobody loses a day's pay. Smart? You want to see how smart it is? Look at this. Wow, what, what is it? Pulitzer giving the big boot to the newsies. Jack. That's amazing. You've got real talent. You should be inside the paper illustrating, not outside hawking it. Are you kidding? I'm just a loose. Which is exactly why you need to be at the rally tonight. Spex brought me a letter from the refuge. It's crunchy. They beat the poor kid up so bad. What if you don't make it? Are you willing to show me that? But it's head any opinion. Jack, you said it yourself. My family wouldn't be in this mess if my father had a union. This is a fight we have to win. How would quitting now do Crunchy any good? Come on, Davey, there's not much time. We've got to go and spread the word. I have to go too, I'm late. Please, Jack, come to the meeting. See you tonight. Think about it. Should have hit that big half of yours. Shut it. What the heck? End of the line for you, Jack. Escaped convict. 
Which one gives us more in common? Impudence Joe. is in bad taste when crawling for mercy. Crawling? More like dragged. And hey, some of us can't be bullied, even some reporters. Such as the woman who made you yesterday's news. Talented girl. Oh, Catherine! Ah, come here. I trust you know my daughter. Catherine. Yes, my daughter. I'm sure you're asking yourself, why the nod in your bloom? I offer Catherine a life of wealth and leisure, and she chose to pursue a career and do it all of you. Jack, I, I'm so don't trouble the boy with your problems, dearest. Mr. Kelly has a plate full of his own. And, and wouldn't you say so, Warren Snyder? Hello, Jack. I saved a little bunk for you at the refuge. The other delinquents will be so happy to see you behind bars. <laughs> Defy me, Jack, and I'll make sure your friend with the crutch never leaves the refuge. I do request you reconsider, Mr. Blitzer. Answer me. Do you want all your little pals rotting away in jail? All because of you. No. No, I didn't think so. So I'll tell you what, if you speak out against this hopeless strike tonight, I'll make sure your pockets are filled with enough money to go, where is it? Santa Fe. There ain't a person in this room that don't know that you stick. And if they know me, they know I do not care. So Jack, do we have a deal?
Where is he? So.
working here since he was eight years old and hasn't had a raise in 20 years. He's with us 100%. You got no newsies to keep us coming? You can throw the hoe down in here with all we got. And more on the way. Good. Keep him coming and tell him to stay quiet. Hey, it's good to have you back. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, there she is. My father's very first printing press. Just think, while he snores blissfully in his bed, we'll be using his own press against him. Remind me to stay on your good side. Is that what they print the papes on? That's right. And as we print the papes, Grace, you'll pass them on to the newsies. We'll then spread them to every orphan kid in the city. After that, it's up to them. I can see why they cost this little girl down the cellar, but I think she'll do the job. Jack, this is Dorothy. She knows just about everything there is to know about printing. So you work for one of the new papers? My father owns the trick. Whoa. And this is Bill. He'll be typesetting the article for us. Oh, Bill, so I assume the son of William Randolph Knights. And proud to be a part of your revolution. Oh, look at that. Your father owns the journal? I know. Whoa. <laughs> Jack, let's get rolling. I have to get some of these papes in your drawings to someone who will be very interested to see them.
deal. And it came with a money back guarantee. Hey, thanks for your lesson on the power of the press, by the way. You'd have to put on a great paper. Very convincing. No doubt! Written by my daughter! Hey, I'd sign out before anyone else does. I demand to know who defied my ban on printing strike material. We're your loyal employees. We never take our business anywhere else. The printing press in the cellar? This all started because now you wanted some more pays. But now their circulation is down by 70%. Why didn't you just come talk to us? Because guys like Joe don't talk to nobody. Have a look out there, Mr. Pulitzer. In case you ain't got it figured out, we got you surrounded. You can't buy a paper to get a shoe shine. You can't send a message, ride an elevator, or even cross the Brooklyn Bridge. You can't even leave your own building. So, Joe, we'll see you next week. Mr. Kelly, uh, if, if I may speak to you uh, alone. You can do it, Jack. I can't put the price back where it was. There are other considerations. I, I, I get it, Joe. I'm young. I ain't stupid. You got to save face in front of the fellow. Thank you for understanding. But I've got a constituent with a legitimate gripe. What if I reduce the raise by half? It, it, it's, it's a compromise we can all live with. But you eat our losses. Anything you don't sell, we buy back full price. What's to stop newsies from taking hundreds, hundreds of pages they cannot sell? My circulation would explode! No newsie is going to break his back hauling around a bunch of papers he can't sell. But if he can take a couple extra with no risk, maybe he sells them and your circulation grows. It's a compromise we can all live with. That's not a... Back. Hey, you got no choice. Deal? That is disgusting. <laughs> Deal?
to shut down the refuge? What might a daily cartoon do to expose the dwellings in our own political bathroom? That is a brilliant idea. And you can hire him at double the standard rate. I mean, with the strike being settled, I'd best leave it for road to Come on, you can't leave now. Why not? My father just hired you as a professional cartoonist, Jack. What Santa Fe got that New York ain't? Sandstorms? Better yet, what does New York have that Santa Fe ain't? New York's got us, and we're begging you to stay. <laughs> Did I hear something about a strike being settled? All right, all right, thanks for the news, he's not up. He's taking us so and so. What do you say, brother? I got your back, you got mine?
Oh, I'd be delighted to do it. It's you, Faison. Gee, thanks. Hey, Jack, who's that? It beats me. She's way out of my view. Whoever she is. Uh, no rain. Polly, cloudy, clear all evening. And the lint sells 50 pence a week all by itself. I don't need a lint sell cakes. I got poisonality. And don't forget me. Shoes with matching laces. Oh, yeah, we're far from the 